So here is corporate faith, corporate prayer, and unity in the Spirit, all moving in the same direction. F. F. Bosworth said this, he said, it was not the faith of a single evangelist that brought healing to the streets of Jerusalem. It was the faith of a corporate, it was the corporate faith of a Spirit-filled, united, and praying church that produced an atmosphere that was easy for God to work and made it difficult for the devil to interfere. So can you see that? Corporate, a corporate anointing was present because of how these people prayed collectively together. There was a corporate believing, a corporate faith, a unity in the Spirit. Not, you know, when we have prayer meetings, someone's going one direction, someone else is going another direction, someone's praying about this, someone's praying about that. No, we need to move in the same direction. And that's what produces power. If you look at Ephesians 5 uh, or, or James chapter 5, verse 16, it says, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. The Amplified says, makes tremendous power available. That's the key. So it's there, but it has to be directed. Do you see that? We have power in the walls. Wires are in the wall, but that power is no good unless we direct it to a switch. And when the switch turns on, then something else can happen. So we can make tremendous power available when we're praying, but it has to be directed in a specific way, and then we see results. All right. So you can see then in Acts chapter 5, they received the results of what they prayed about. Many signs and wonders were done. So I wonder if we can do that today. I believe we can. I believe we can. It doesn't take a lot of people. It just takes dedicated, committed people willing to get together and to pray. And so I want to encourage, uh, I know your pastor has been doing this. I want to encourage you to get hooked up with this church and the vision of this church. And and if your pastor says, we're going to pray, we're going to have a prayer meeting, come to pray. And the more you do that, the more involved you are and say, Holy Spirit, help me, I'm available, you will begin to sense a greater degree of anointing when you pray. We have to press through the flesh sometimes (laughs) and press through everything else that we deal with all the time. 